Greetings fellow 50p <coughs> collectors, Coin Snatcher here, and we have a video update this morning which is winners of the most offensive 50p coin set, so I thought this might be a bit of a laugh, get rid of some of the, the wokery because anybody who watches my channel will realise that I don't like the wokery and just because something's offensive doesn't really mean it's offensive. It it can mean it's a little bit of fun as well. A little bit of a dry Northern Irish humour as we call it. So had a couple of prizes. Uh, where this is the first prize which has the Diplodocus Diplodocus uh, bank coin from the Westminster collection. We've got a Christmas 50p in there as well in the red case. We've got a Peregrine Falcon there from the Isle of Man. We've got the latest uh, Coronation 50p for Charles III. And then we've popped in a Lockton Ram 50p as well, because I think these are a really nice design. And then for the second prize, we have a Edge Inscribed Isle of Man Viking Ship 50p in the case. We've got the Peregrine again, and we've got the Coronation 50p. And then we've got one of those locked in RAM 50 piece as well. So thank you to everyone who put their comments below the video. Uh, thank you if you watch the video and thanks for watching it to the end. So there was plenty of good suggestions that came through. I'll go through some of them. So Diesel Hilux, he suggested a set with uh, various police interceptor cars. Uh, second suggestion from Diesel Hilux was mobility aids as well. I think that could be quite a funny one to do. You know, the, the hearing aid, the uh, the electric go-kart that all these pensioners seem to have these days. The walking stick that they use to beat the youngsters with, etc. So, and then Prozac as well, probably to keep most of them on their, on, on their two feet standing upright. <laughs> uh, Jack Benson, he came in with a supermarket set. So maybe have a Tesco, Asda's, Morrison's, and if you're terribly posh, Sainsbury's on a on a set of fifty p's. <laughs> and the one I did like from Jack was his second one, which was pills and drugs. So mushrooms, PCP. I think PCP was called angel dust in America. I don't think it made it to the shores of Britain really. Uh, DMT and LSD, LSD, lysergic acid dimethylide, uh, which which I had several times when I was younger and thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly recommend that if you've never tried LSD or mushrooms, you give it a go. So two really good sets there from, from Jack. Uh, Ian S came up with <laughs> death faces of Russian soldiers. Uh, <laughs> and in his work, <laughs> uh, I thought that was quite funny. So yeah, you can imagine uh, Russian soldiers just about to be blown up by a drone, and the last look in their face as the uh, the drone <laughs> the drone drops a bomb on them. I thought that was quite good. Martin Locke, uh, idiots in the road, something close to my heart. So uh, cyclist, perfectly, perfectly. I could do a whole coin series on cyclists, but most of them would be the cyclists in, in hospital with broken bones. Uh, or cyclists under vehicles would make a good set of coins as well. Uh, second one in that little set would be DPD drivers. Again, uh, I had this yesterday, for instance, DPD drivers who just think they can stop on double yellow lines or parallel park against other cars and literally just stop all the fucking traffic in the road. I actually beeped at that wanker yesterday and he put his hands up as if to say, what do you want me to do? I put the window down and said, park in a fucking car park, you can't. Anyway, uh, so yep, yeah, uh, and then the other one, horses. So I used to ride horses for a long time myself. Generally, I don't have anything against horses. Can't stand fucking horse riding people, though. Used to be one of them myself, which is completely hypocritical. But when I rode horses, used to drive out into the country and do it in a big fucking barn. I uh, wasn't going up and down country roads holding up the innocent motorist as they go about their business. And then the final set in this coin, which uh, might ruffle a few feathers, is women drivers. And... 
there's nothing worse than a woman driver that drives for DPD and rides horses part time at the weekend and has a cyclist has a bicycle as well. So a nice a nice set of coins there from Martin Locke. Uh, Andy Price, so a northerner, I think that's what you call a northerner, somebody who comes from Wigan, and his suggestion was to have a set of different pies, but the one I found really offensive was to have a steamed pie, a steamed pudding as part of that set. Coming from Northern Ireland, I've heard of steamed puddings, but never in my life have I eaten one. Uh, just didn't even like the sound of it. A, it's not a pudding, and B, anything that's been steamed. Well, I'd rather have something that was fried than steamed. Uh, so that was a good set to have as well. And then Peter Douglas came up with a current theme, obviously, dinosaurs. But he suggested having a set of gay dinosaur coins and... His, his suggestion was Megasaurus, but if you say it slowly, Megasaurus. So Megasaurus, that was a funny one. Sally Marlowe, she came up with a set themed around the Nazis. So you could have Heinrich Himmler, Joseph Goebbels, Reinhard Haylock, uh, Hay, I think it's Haydock or Haylock, and of course, Adolf Hitler, and then there's a fifth coin I would add into that set and have the swastika on the on the fifth coin to tie it all together quite nicely. So that was an excellent set as well. Uh, 50p collector Les uh, Les came up with this set of horror 50p. So Michael Myers, uh, I think he was from was he the the ice skating bloke who went round and sliced people up. Uh, Jason Voorhees, I'm not sure if you're Jason Voorhees, is he Friday the 13th maybe or something like that? Freddy Krueger, well Freddy Krueger was the only uh, only character in a horror story what's ever given me a nightmare. Uh, one, two, he's coming for you, three, four, you remember the song that went for that? And then probably the ultimate evil villain in a horror movie Pennywise the Clown absolutely brilliant read the books long before I ever watched the video and Pennywise is in a league of his own when it comes to uh, terrorizing kids and then moving on Ian Ritchie he came up with a royal theme so Ian's theme was to have Diana's last gasp in the back of the mangled Mercedes with a paparazzi flash going off just as a just as the picture's taken. On the second coin in his set, he would have King Charles, a picture of his enlarged prostate. <laughs> Third coin would be King Charles I, his head rolling into a basket. <laughs> and then the uh, fourth coin, which he found to be the most offensive, which I agree with, would be to have Megan from America. Megan, the ginger winger's other half. Megan standing in front of the Union Jack nothing more offensive than that and then to finish it off uh norman morrison he came up with having a set of plane wrecks and his second choice which i quite liked as well would be hotels in rwanda so we had plenty of good suggestions i think you all got the gist of what i was looking for there in in the uh the answers and i think the the winning the winning uh, set of coins that would probably offend the most people goes to Sally Marlowe for the Nazi set. Now, there's two reasons for this one. We could do a 20% discount for the Jewish community. We could do a full colour set as well of this. But also, who doesn't get offended by the Nazis? I mean, I thoroughly enjoy in my days off sitting watching these Pro, these uh, channels on the telly like Dave and Quest and all these ones where they go through the war. Uh, I've sat and watched the whole series of the the world of the world at war, which was a brilliant series. And anything to do with the war, I generally find quite interesting. So first place goes to Sally for her Nazi set, and the second. Second prize, the second set, I think will go to Ian Ritchie for his 
royal theme of coins because <laughs> the way he worded it in the reply, which was Diana's last gap, just gasp in the back of the mangle car, just as the paparazzi flash of the cameras going off. That that really tickled me. And then like who really wants to see an enlarged prostate on a on a fifty P coin? So that's gotta be good. King Charles the First, his head rolling into a basket. I think you could almost have a set in itself of royal executions, so really good. And then I liked his off the cuff last one, which is Megan, who I can't stand standing in front of the Union Jack. Now I would just say as well, you call it the Union Jack. It's only the Union Jack when it's on a boat and it's raised. Any other time it's called the Union Flag. So we need people people get that wrong. So there we go. We have first place going to Sally with the, the Nazi themed set. And we have the second set going to Ian Ritchie with his royal theme of coins. So I thoroughly enjoyed doing that. That gave me a good laugh. Uh, I was hoping to see there was a few more uh, extreme ones uh, reference around sexual sexual things, etc. But that wasn't really the, the idea of these coins to be rude in that sense. It was more just about uh, what would offend rather than what, what was outright rude. Some of the answers I got, I don't even think I would repeat them here. But well done to Sally and well done to Ian. I will pop my email address under this. So you folks just uh, drop me an email and we'll take you through the two-step verification process and the one-time passcode. And uh, you'll have to sign up for the club card and everything else. Give me all your details and we'll get those coins posted out to you. But a great bit of fun. I think we might do this again in the future. Maybe have to think up something else for a competition. But uh, yeah, thanks to everyone for taking part. Thanks to all you folks, the subscribers. Thanks for watching the videos. And yeah, that's it for now. Peace and love. Coin Snatcher out.